Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be trying out the FetTech Alpha firmware on the G4 from FetTech with the 45 amp ESC on 6S. Uh, and it's going to be great. It's going to be a one pack. We're going to rip it. We're not going to, no editing, no nothing. Uh, one and done, no retakes. This is it. This is my raw impression of the brand new FetTech Alpha firmware. It's built from the ground up. Uh, you, you have to use like an online GUI and everything. That being said, it is still somehow easier than Betaflight. It actually seems easier than the old KISS as well. There's no nothing, no nonsense. You get in there, I've reflashed it, and boom, it was done. It was awesome. I loved it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't already. It really helps me out. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, and uh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. So uh, a couple disclaimers before we get to the flight footage real quick. I, wanna get, I don't want to waste your time, but I want you to have all the information you need to make an informed decision. Uh, that being said, I'm recording on a GoPro Hero Session 1. It's very crummy. It's old. I get it. It's all I've got. Uh, it's fine. It's going to get you exactly what you need. Uh, it's been a long time since I've flown, probably about three years. Yep. Can you believe it? Uh, it's, it's nasty outside. It's wet. It's disgusting. I'm not going to crash. I do not want to ruin this quad. It's all I've got. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, you're not, don't look for, for nothing crazy today. I'm not going to send it. We're just trying to go through and get a bunch of weird stick movements. Uh, see if I can get a little bit of prop wash in there. Uh, and then just get my very raw first impression of this firmware and see how it feels. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and, and get outside. Relax. It's just a bunch of ones and zeros out there. The You're going to be yeah. fine. Here we go. Oh, that's weird. Whoa. Okay. It's very responsive. Dude, I don't know what's going on. It feels a little less floaty. Excuse the yard. We had a little canopy set up here for the kids the other day. Tore that down because of the weather. They like to play right here. Oh, there's me. All right, let's give it, let's try to get some prop wash. Pull this. There's some. Woo, pull right there. It feels good. It feels like almost too responsive. Is that a thing? Okay, little. That was a tuning issue there. That's like a D thing on the roll. Feel how like responsive that is though? Oh yeah, definitely needs to be tuned. Definitely needs to be tuned. It's nice though. I bet you if I tune this up, it would be pretty legit. Hey guys, real quick while I got you, there was a couple things I wanted to go over. It's me from the future. Um, and it, it, it's not a lot. It's literally a couple. Uh, but so I, I, I tuned it a little bit at work at the fire station. I flew it a little bit. It, it was, <laughs> it's good. Uh, but there was a couple things that I noticed uh, either editing this footage or flying it a little bit again, and I wanted to talk about it. Uh, and another thing was the the uh, the PID tuning in the GUI. I, I showed a small clip of it earlier, and I, if you didn't notice, it's super cool, super easy. It explains everything. If you've ever been intimidated by PIDs like me, when I got to go in there, it was like, it, it, the explanations on what the P's, the I's, the D's, and everything does, all the filters, everything was there, and it felt like I had watched like hours of YouTube videos, and I was able to just tune, right? It was awesome. Um, and so another thing is, uh, it I felt like it was, I'll read it how I wrote it, easier to swoop on the throttle and keep a consistent elevation. What I mean by that is coming out of a dive, coming out of a power loop, a split S, whatever it may be, it felt way easier and way more consistent to 
lock an elevation. So I would come down and there's zoop and then like keep that same elevation no matter which direction I was going. Um, a little back, you know, story is I'm using the, the ethics steel stout motors, the uh, 1850 KVs. I think it's what they are. Uh, and it's a different stator size than the motors I was used to, which were the FPV cycle uh, Imperials, 25 millimeter. And those are, oh, <laughs> so good. They're, that's what they're marketed for. Right, those motors, you know, were partially marketed for very consistent elevation control at, at low throttle. Uh, and they're awesome for that, you know, pair it with the right prop. When I switched over to the steels, I didn't get that. I think it's a 2207, I'm not sure. And I, I didn't like it. I, I mean, I love flying the quad. I love flying the motors, don't get me wrong. But coming from one to the other, I noticed a difference and it was something I had to fly around. As soon as I flashed this firmware... I immediately noticed when I was coming out of dives, coming out of power loops and things and being able to do some stuff that it was freaking locked on my elevation control. I noticed it a lot when I, after I tuned it because I was able to over there fly a little bit farther, uh, do some swooping movements and things like that. And I noticed it. I noticed it a lot. Let's get back to the video. Why is that? I'm running crossfire. But it feels like my buddy's tracer. Is this like a placebo effect here? What's going on? Is it the PIDs? Are the PIDs just that more, much more responsive? I'm not really trying to say, wait, let's see, let's check. There's no wobble on throttle. So that's nice. There's only like a little bit of like crop wash right there and honestly it's like negligible whoa whoa <laughs> i did not see that coming oh no i can't get this quad wet i can't do it but man it feels like way responsive it's almost like the quad does what i want to do before i even do it it's so strange Now the rate profile is is different. The way you do your rates is very slow. I'm gonna end up dying on that thing. I think we're gonna be okay. A little bit of rain. We should be okay. We're gonna make the tree gap. We're not gonna make the tree gap today. Not today. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay. I'm pretty happy with that flight. Yeah, it feels way better on just stock than anything else I've ever flown. Beta Flight, KISS, V2, um, the G4 on KISS. So yeah, I mean, that's it, it's one of those things where you know you're always chasing that locked feeling, right? And you can talk PIDs and rates and different, you know, soft mount, hard mount all day, but this thing right out of the box just feels like it's reading my mind. Like it's just locked. So, man, okay, yeah. I'm intrigued, I'm, I, I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Look guys, I'm telling you, if you're on the fence uh, about trying the new FetTech firmware, uh, the Alpha firmware, and you've got you know a G4 or an F7 or something laying around on a quad, or even if you're trying to get an, a, you know, a KISS Ultra and you can't get them, pick up a FetTech board and try the alpha firmware. I'm telling you, I was intimidated as the heck. You know, I procrastinated for about a week before I finally made the decision to try this out. And it was easy. It was so easy to get this flashed. Do it. I'm telling you, if you've been on the fence and you, you weren't sure, try it. It doesn't cost you anything, okay? It didn't blow up my ESCs. My motors didn't get hot. It's cool. It's super cool. Try it. Try it. Go. See you guys later.